What's up, Scoops? It is Monday here on Hipster Chicken. It's not Hipster Chicken. Why do I keep saying that? I've done this opening like four times and it keeps happening. <laughs> What's up, Scoops? It is Monday here on My Life After Breakfast. My name is Chengu, and today we are once again going to be talking about Merlin Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about Episode 2, so if you have yet to see it and you don't want anything to be spoiled for you, then peace out, go watch it and come back. If you have seen it or if you don't care if things are spoiled for you, then let's go. First and foremost, thank you so much to Honest Beauty 1988. She made a thumbs up on a video I made a couple days ago and tweeted it out to her people. And thank you so much. I've had some new subscribers ever since, so hello new subscribers. So thank you so much for that thumbs up. It really means a lot to me. If you haven't seen yesterday's video, click right there. Um, I'm basically going to be continuing on that from that conversation. I don't want you be lost. Quick list of stuff that this episode fixed for me. The relationship between Merlin and Arthur I thought was a lot better but I don't know if it was because they were in crisis mode and they were just like who cares about the argument we had before. We need to save a whole bunch of people and get ourselves out of this too. Number two the storyline of showing how smart Gwen is with rather than sentencing someone to death actually trying to have like a long con of getting her father to come here so they can capture the person who's the actual problem made a lot more sense than just showing how hardcore the characters are now. Third thing is Mordred. When he showed up at the end of last, last episode, I was more worried about him from Merlin's point of view, but I was not worried about him as a character because I kind of knew where he was going. Like there was no like, what's he gonna do? But now, yeah, they certainly fixed that problem with having Mordred stab Morgana. And according to legend, they have a mother-son relationship. Apparently not this time around, or if they do, it's gonna be later on in the series or possibly next series season for Americans, which no one even knows if they're gonna have a next season. So if they're not having a next season, then they've got like, 12 or 14 episodes to make all this work so I don't know what are they gonna do with that because that relationship is there in the legend they always give us a legend but not the way we think so eventually that will happen but evidently nowhere close to now so apparently Morgana was fine 10 minutes later because she's apparently immortal and walking off into the frozen tundra to attack once again Mordred is off to be knighted which puts him in so much of a scarier place other things that are worth mentioning from this episode a thing that I was worried about from last episode where Merlin proved to be his regular clumsy stupid self but only for one moment of the episode the whole rest of it he was like adult Merlin and it really really weirded me out. They brought more of the character that we're comfortable with into this new season where Arthur thinks he's an idiot with him running off to go talk to the dragon. We now know that Arthur's opinion of him has not changed with the fact that they're three years older like they still talk to each other like they're 13 year old like schoolmates. So that was kind of refreshing and I liked that moment when they're in the caves and they're hiding from Aethus as, as she runs by. I heard it's a girl by the way, Aethus is a girl. Who knew? They're hiding in the cave and then Merlin says, I'm gonna run off and go distract the dragon. You take Wayne that way because he's hurt. He runs off and then Arthur says, I'm gonna go get him. So I liked the fact that they still have that relationship where Arthur still doesn't trust him <laughs> to stay safe because he believes him to be an idiot. But also there's a little magical reveal tease because we know that Merlin is going off to talk to Aethusa with, you know, his dragon voice. And then 10 seconds after he runs off, Arthur runs to follow him. So we're like, oh my gosh, he's gonna see and Merlin's probably not paying attention because it's what he does. So then Merlin runs off, catches up with Aethusa, screams out in dragon language, and somehow Arthur, who should be about two steps behind him, does not hear any of that. I guess he gets lost in the tunnels or something and ends up in a completely different spot. And then Merlin talks to the dragon, tells him to peace out, and then turns back to find Arthur being slowly killed by Morgana. And then he's thrown back and he can't help as Arthur is being slowly stabbed to death. Which is another thing that a lot of people were weirded out by because a lot of people were like, why didn't she just kill him? That's so weird that she like took the time to play with him. Earlier on the episode, Morgana was was captured. And I'd seen a lot of spoilers, so I already knew that Morgana had spent two of the three years that we were away from the story, uh, she'd spent that captured and down a hole. I didn't know that she was with Aethusa the entire time. So that was an interesting twist. If you were down a hole for two years and you believe that someone was very specifically at fault for it, wouldn't you take the time to torture them? Despite the fact that there is a threat that Emerus will always be there to protect Arthur. Having had to go through what she had to go through before, it makes complete and total sense that she would at least take that amount of time to torture him before Emerus came along and saved the day. But Emerus didn't come along and save the day because Emerus being Merlin was half unconscious on the ground and Mordred was the one who stepped up and stabbed Morgana. Which is a great way, in my opinion, to get around the fact that had Morgana and Mordred teamed up, Mordred already knows that 
Emrys is Merlin, and Morgana's been looking for who Emrys is for years now, and she's never been able to figure it out. Had they teamed up right there, Mordred would have told Morgana who Emrys is, and then Morgana would have known, and any sense of surprise would have been gone. And then the next time she went to attack the castle, one, she would know exactly who Merlin was. Two, she would find some way of bringing it up in a conversation to prove to Arthur once again that everyone you trust ends up betraying you in one way or another. Another reason why I completely understand when Merlin asked the dying mayor, who is Arthur Spain? And the answer was himself, because he keeps trusting the wrong people. I feel like if at this moment he finds out that Merlin has magic, like I'm dying to see what the actor, what Bradley James does with that moment of Arthur realizing that literally everyone in his life, everyone he's ever trusted, has betrayed him in one way or another. Every person in his in his inner 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 circle, like Gwen, um, his father, Merlin, like best and Morgana used to be like best best friends, closest family. Every single one of them has betrayed him in one way or another, except for Merlin. And then to find out that Merlin is also betraying him, I think right now is the absolute worst time for him to find out absolute worst time. So that's just me, that's how I feel about that. So there were no really big questions brought up about this episode, just a whole lot of answers from the episodes before. So I don't know, I hope you enjoyed it. Please tell me what you thought about the episode in the comments below. And the last thing that we learned from this episode is that this thing that I didn't know yesterday is called an Ookdag, otherwise known as a Diamir. It literally knows everything about anything. And that was the thing that Merlin asked, what is Arthur's Bane? If you had one chance to ask the Diamir one question, what would that question be? And what would you hope the answer would be? Tell me in the comments below. You guys rock out loud. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, favorite, and subscribe. The background picture today is the skyline of Chicago from when all of Hipster Chicken and a few other people were in uh, the YouTube Creator Institute a year and a half ago. We had so much fun, and this pic was a picture I took um, with the camera that they let us use, which was a Canon uh, 60D, which is so much fun to use and so awesome and something I hope to be able to afford one day. But, um, but yeah, I really, really like this picture. Tell me what you think of it. Comments below. I absolutely love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.